Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am joined with Soul Reaper, one of the test branch members, and he's going to be helping me today because we are going to be making uh, the iconic piggyback 747 Boeing Space Shuttle concept. Where essentially, there is a space shuttle piggybacking on the back of a Boeing 747, and then the plane takes off, and then once the plane gets high enough, the space shuttle detaches and then goes into space, which is a pretty cool concept that I actually decommissioned a long time ago, but we're going to be trying that today in Trailmakers. And already we have Soul Reaper working on the 747 here, looking pretty good. Nice fuselage, by the way. Thank you. And uh, I need to make a space shuttle for this. So to do this today, I've already made a space shuttle with uh, Scrapman and JB Rider in a separate video, but I'm going to be making a completely new one because the last space shuttle didn't have any gyros or anything in that. And also we want to do this to scale. So uh, I think I'm only going to be using one rocket engine for this one today sound good soul yeah all right well let's get building the space shuttle all right so uh what's great about this is i can just build side by side with you let me get aligned there we go and then once we've done our builds we can decide after it's going to attach by attachable blocks or magnets we'll see and if we need complexity mod we'll uh, we'll have to turn that one on so i can actually pull out my other uh space shuttle really quick so we're gonna just basically do this but uh a little bit more compact i think we just need to make a completely brand new one designed specifically to be on top of a boeing 747 because as you can see like this is like a lot bigger than uh this one here that's why we need to build things to scale guys i actually don't believe i need to add any modular wings to mine do i soul because you'll be having all the lift all i need to do is exit the atmosphere all right this is looking pretty good so far pretty nice uh wing structure here i do have a few control surfaces so uh in case i do want to come back into atmosphere but also to make this a little bit more interesting i think we should have a bit of a challenge um to do Soul Reaper. Space shuttles can actually open like their top compartment, like a big cargo hold. And uh, I'm thinking we could actually like deploy a mini satellite into space using this uh, this method. So uh, I can get to work on a pretty cool little cargo hold here. It's going to be tiny just to, just to deploy something into space, like a tiny satellite. And it's nice to be playing alongside a friend too, because uh, I don't want to have to build both the space shuttle and the Boeing 747. Uh, that'll be a lot of work. I'm just working on the like fuselage here let's put this angle to 90 degrees to right on the d-pad to toggle when i open the cargo hold oh I... <laughs> here we go let's try it out oh nice look at that i just need to add like the top segment to uh, just cover all up the holes really quick so if i do this we should have a fully functional cargo hold nice would you look at that so i'm quite limited on what i can actually fit inside there for the scale it's fine It'll do the job. Well, that's pretty much the space shuttle uh, finished in terms of the entire shape. So that opens. It's a little glitchy. Might have to delete some blocks here, guys. <laughs> oh, it's still, it's still been a little glitchy, though. All right, we've got the uh, cargo hold working again. So all I need to really do now is add the gyro controls to this thing. All right, I have all of my gyro controls. I can't really test it here on, the, on Dune. So let's teleport over to the Galena 9. And uh, do we have enough for us to get out of space? Yes, we can get into space. There we go. All right. So let's test our functions. Pitch, jaw controls. Hmm, this actually works pretty well. And then we have our uh, cargo port here. I'm very happy about that, guys. This works kind of perfectly. Let's, over let's head over back to Seoul. I do feel the, like, uh, the weird center of thrust. It's actually trying to make me pitch my nose up so i might have to do some quantum rudders in here but can i get back into orbit or at least into atmosphere yeah siri oh god i just broke the sound barrier let's get the hell out of me <laughs> that was so loud i think the low gravity on this planet is kind of perfect for my uh entry here because uh i don't have any wing pieces like modular wings and i've just perfectly touched down on the planet there you go that's what i like to see well all this thing really needs now is a paint job and something to deploy into space. And as you can see, there isn't much we can actually fit inside here. Okay, guys, so here is the space shuttle all painted up nicely.
easily and this is what i'm going to attempt to launch the space i just came up with this like little i don't know like a probe <laughs> the space probe and we can fit that inside of cargo bay here We've got some detachable blocks there it can fit into and then there it is all i need to do now is set a key bind to this uh let's say left is to detach let's head all the way into space all right we are in space so i just want to make sure i got the desired effect here so we're moving out of orbit for example we're slowing down open this and there's our probe and all we need to do is detach and then kind of just move away from it And there it is. Why does it look so goofy though? What happened? I feel like one of the blocks had glitched out. Well, that's our probe. And then into space. And that's going to send a load of data back to uh, HQ. <laughs> I forgot to do this, but I am going to put in some quantum rudders just to help me in space flight, which I don't think is too much of a problem. But what I can do is turn the quantum rudders black like this and get a shield over them too. And then if we want to hide them on the top side, just uh, put the shield on. I just need to delete the decal. And hey presto, there is our final, final finished version of the space shuttle. All right, Sol Reaper, how's it looking? Because I have a very good space shuttle here. Um, uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You're getting there? Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can enter orbit again. It's just so fun to do. Okay, we're approaching re-entry. I just love doing these quick tests really quick. Here we go. We're in orbit, slowing down, kind of gliding. I don't have any lift in this, really. I don't want to use the engines. Let's see if we can survive this crash. Oh, a little hard. That's okay. It's all right. We did it. <laughs> nice. Well, all we need to do now is wait for Soul Reaper to finish and uh, stick the space shuttle on the back of the uh, plane. Okay, buddy. It looks like you're finished. Yep. Let's have a quick look at this thing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it looks so nice, bro. You did a great job. I love how the wings tilt in too. Got the wheels. Got the engines. Yeah. Okay. So now all we need to do is stick the uh shuttle on top of the boeing so uh, if you hand me this build i'll be able to uh, do some work so let's see our complexity 564 complexity okay this is a chunky build bro oh you got a bunch of gyros in here oh i see okay no oh bro <laughs> damn it it is it's too complex my boy's too chunky it is too chunky all right well what we're gonna have to do buddy is uh turn on the complexity mod all right we now have 1000 complexity well, let's try again this should be enough so this build and then yeah there you go okay uh, did you build your plane backwards i think i built it <laughs> i think you built it backwards i just did your build and turn mine first Lord. there you go nice yeah. let's get our detachable blocks in place in your space shuttle with the one thruster <laughs> yeah that's all i've got oh, they wanted to give me a few small ones i said hell no i want to go big Yes, there you go. Um, all right, so up on the D-pad for me will be the release. Let's uh, paint those detachable blocks black. There you go. And let's give this a save. Wow, look at this thing. All right, I think we do need to actually... Yeah, we need to configure all of these controls really quick, guys, because I don't want to be controlling the plane from the space shuttle. Okay, that should be everything configured now. So let's give that a resave. And here it is. This is the final version. Finally got here in the end. Okay, so shall we just try it? I think we just yeah. try it. There's a tree in the way, though. Careful. Now, let me just give a, a quick look at this thing. Something's clanging. Is that okay? Oh, whoa, okay. I just want to check my first person really quick. I keep changing cameras. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good view. Oh, even better view. Top of seat. All right, bro. It's all on you. Whenever you're okay. ready. Let's go. Yeah. It looks like a little bit of rock, but I think can you, we Can might... you make this? No. <laughs> you're going to have to your yeah, control. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Whoa, we're going vertical. Why are we going vertical? I'm trying to pitch, but I think the engines are pushing me down. Here, I'll give you some rockets for us. There we go. We have to work together here. All right, finally, we're doing it. Okay, we're going a okay. little too vertical uh, now. Little, yeah, yeah. A little bit, yeah, Straight and out. Fast. You can uh, stop your thrust for now. Let's see if that what happens. It's all you, bro. It's all you. Roll, roll, come on, roll. I don't want to go into orbit. Yeah, you don't want to go into Press. orbit. All right, I'm going to detach. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 
That's there you go. Oh no, are you, yeah. in, are you out of the atmosphere? Goodbye, you see. No! You need to be safe. Oh. I forgot my oxygen. Uh, mask. Well, rip soul reaper. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so I do need to attach a little earlier. And uh, we want to try and not be so vertical when we're taking off there. Because we're having a lot of pitch issues. But I am successfully in orbit. I'm out of space. I'm in out of space now. So let's deploy. You know, let's give me some speed. Yeah, there we go. Let's deploy our probe. Okay, three, two, one. Off it goes. Soul, we did it. Name the satellite after me. <laughs> I'll name the uh, probe Soul. Soul one. There you go. Oh, wait, is it going into orbit? It kind of looks like it's on the edge of orbit right here. Got the same real life expectancy as me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to re-enter the, uh, the planet now. I've done my mission. And I'll meet you back on the planet because I really want to try that again. I want to be a little bit more successful there. I don't want to kill the crew of the Boeing 747 whilst leaving the planet. All right, cool. So uh, I've, I've re-centered the shuttle uh, because we're a little back heavy. Well, so far back. So I'm a little bit more in the middle now. And we just got to try this again, buddy. Yeah, wait, I'll be in the right seats. Is, yeah. Oh, no. I, oh, oh. Just repair, we'll, we'll it's repair going them. wrong. Everything's going wrong. Here you go. Here's the version you want. Oh, it's because... I'm under your... Yes, I see. It's when I spawn. Oh my gosh, that is such a pain. Can I move the seat forward in the front? Yeah, let's move that forward. What's that doing there? there? Well, when I built it, there was not a space shuttle on top of it. If I get into this seat now and repair... There you go. Yeah. We've dusted it out. We got past that Look issue. At nice, Look at the nice tree. I hope you keep breaking every time. We're just so heavy. Just a little bit. There's a little bit broken off the tail. Maybe try. Yeah, no thrust. Let's see if we can make it without. Okay, no thrust from me. All right, here we go. I'm going horizontal at least. Where are you going? We're going down. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. Trying to steer. You can go up. Yeah. You, can, you can go up. Just keep keep yeah. the thrust on. Keep the thrust on. We're going to the edge of the world, so. All right. Tell me can when. Tell me when. Can you lean to the left? Lean to the left. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I assume you have gyros in your ship. I do. They're not as powerful yeah. though when we're connected to the full plane. Yeah, but they're fighting each other. Uh, lean to the right. I'm leaning. I'm leaning. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. We got a lot of planet ahead of us. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Tell me when. When you're ready. Okay, I'm going to detach in three, two, one. Off I go. Oh, yes. Mm. Come on. Leave orbit. Leave atmosphere. Come on. Come on, shuttle. Uh-oh, I think we we're a little too low. Come on, I'm pulling back. I can do this. We're doing it. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of the atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh, oh did you crash? No, I landed kind of. My screen shook when you crashed. That was weird. Probably because it's one build. Yeah, that's yeah. See, every time you get damaged, I get the effect. That's that's crazy. Anyway. Let's stay on mission objective here. I want to launch this probe as fast as I can. So let's go 200 miles per hour, open the cargo hold, and then... Wait, where'd it go? Oh my god, it launched so quick. It is gone. I was going that fast, it just shot out. That that probe's going, dude. It's, it's, <laughs> it's out of here. Never to return. Never to return. That was so crazy. I'm going to return, though. I'm going to return safely. I will try, try to land where I am. It's pretty flat. Try and land. Oh, yeah. This is like the flattest part of this map here. All right. We're in atmosphere. It's a little bit of pressure assist. I'm on fumes. I've only got fumes left. Easy peasy. <laughs> well, I say that is a mission success, Sol. Yeah. I mean, we could have done that, like, probably one more time. We could be a little bit more clean, but uh, it's trail makers. It's, uh... We're supposed to be janky here. If it's not jank, it's not trail makers. Exactly. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this entire concept for uh, the piggyback uh, shuttle. If you have any more ideas on what we can do next in the space map, definitely leave your ideas down below. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.